So I was uh, on Interstate 5 in San Diego, and I was going southbound to go back to Coronado. And uh, I, so I'm in the southbound lanes, and a, a drunk driver fleeing from the police got on the highway heading northbound in the southbound lanes, and we kind of uh, met head on. So I had a head injury, I broke my nose, had a collapsed lung, lacerated liver, I had a chest tube, open compound fracture in my right femur, broke my right knee, my right tibia, got a plate nine screws in my right ankle, and my left tib and fib, and I got a rod down there, and a rod in here. I was in a wheelchair for a little over three months, and then I was on crutches for about close to six months. It's good and it's bad, and it's good because it's a new, it's a totally new vibe now. It's, uh, as one guy had mentioned, it's like the, it's your new normal. You have to live with your new normal. So I, maybe the most challenging thing that I've come to realize is that I got yanked off of the track that I was on. And everything I've done since then, which I don't have any regrets, but it wasn't really the path that I had in mind, you know, how many, you know, years ago. One lady asked me uh, if you can go back on that particular day, would you, would you do anything different? And I quickly said no. I no, you know, because I don't know where my life would have been if it didn't happen. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in a good place right now. So I wouldn't take a different exit or be in a different lane. You may realize, oh, you, you thought that everything was over. I can't do this anymore. I can't do that anymore. And then you get up and you, you go, you go swim or you go run or you shot put and you say, oh, geez, I can. Wait a second, you know, I can do this now. And, you know, it may be a, in a different position or a different, in a different way, but you can still do it.